Hey guys, Brent Old Build Show. We're done, we finished, yay! Come check it out today on the Build Show. Portacache, front porch, furniture's in, looks awesome. Come check it out. Remember the things we did on the outside. Remember there was no circle drive here. You kind of pulled into a little parking area here, but this circle drive was a idea from Ben Page from Page Duke. His idea was to pull in the, the circle drive and I really think it made a big difference because it really centers the house, creates this motor court. We put in the crushed granite, decomposed granite on here to kind of play up that country house feel. And remember this portacache was much shorter and it was very thin and you couldn't even park a car all the way in there without the hood and the trunk being hit by hail, right? There wasn't much protection here. Now we've got three accesses, one on the far side. This was all overgrown before. Plantings were just out of control. So the new plantings here really help you see the house much better. Now I've got a better portacache and you're gonna see we can walk out of that gum library upstairs, a gum study out onto that portacache and what a beautiful place to spend time there. In the backyard, we cut away all the fence cut away all the plantings. That was a homeowner's idea. It was a great one. Really opens up the backyard. Now this country estate, right, is back. It's cleaned up and it looks awesome. Why don't we go check out inside? so nice to get this beautiful stair hall opened up again. Remember we had it covered up. And if you watch one of my videos on ironwork, you remember that my study of these, and these were two to $3,000 each just to remanufacture them. Because of the way they are made, they aren't just tacked together from a bunch of things out of King's Architectural Ironwork. These are actually hand fabricated. And the little scrolls and the little volutes are so pretty, all custom made. This is a gorgeous stair hall, one of the best in Texas, in my opinion. And that little steel window up there with the, with the yellow and purple glass is really beautiful. Awesome stair hall, it's fun to see it again. And you'll notice the designer is a guy named Mill Bodron, great guy, Bodron and Fruit in Dallas. You know, he's great because he's a classicist and a modernist. And so the furniture is obviously a little more modern, but it really works in this historic space. And you remember we had an opening here and then we had an opening on the other side and nothing here. And the architect, Austin Bewley's idea was to open up and create this access this way. So right off the fireplace, now we have a centered opening going right to the backyard. We were also able to, in this space, reuse these steel windows, okay? Here and here, these are the original steel windows that were in the house. We believe they're a criddle, 1928 that looks so beautiful. Look at this brass and bronze hardware, the steel painted, I mean, they're just gorgeous. And now we've got three here, and then of course this axis, which is so important because what we did is it was all chopped up. I couldn't see to there before. And so now that the family room and that's the kitchen, and we have this access here that connects the two, and all of a sudden, all this light coming off the back, I mean, this is where the family will be hanging out and living. We changed the pitch of this, kind of the uh, our nod to Louis Kahn's Kimball Museum here in Fort Worth. This was much more of a barrel, now it's kind of an elliptical arch, but the light that's being able to shine up, there was also plugged with all these lights and, and, and vents and everything else. We were able to pull everything down. We've got this beautiful bar back here. This is a center axis opens onto the pool, which we redid and now walk back down to the, the family room into the kitchen and we gave them this whole new space and we really only added like 150, 200 square feet to this house and it made a huge difference. So this was the old butler's pantry. There was a butler's pantry there. You walked around that door, then you kind of got back into that hallway. There was also a wall here, okay? And this is the what, you know, 15 by 15 space that we added on, but look what it did, okay? It allowed us to open this whole wall up to this kitchen, right? We've got 100 year windows here in the end. We've added a few 100 year windows in the house, but now this kitchen, which was like you had to go through a little three foot opening to get to, now has opened up into this wonderful family space. And look at the flow now. Look how much better this works together. We've got traditional cabinets in here, inset cabinet doors, right? And so we've taken this traditional design that we, that we saw in that original butler's pantry. We've taken it and we've got now these inset doors, beautiful big hinges, all really traditional stuff that, that looks beautiful. Check out some of the other pantry things that we've done with the glass 
glass shelves around that opening that goes into that pantry in the back. Really a fun detail in there. Lightens up that opening that really kind of invites you back into that space. Her office, then the pantry in the back there. Let's go upstairs. I want to show you that awesome office going out onto that porta cache. So if you remember in the 20s, a gum study in a gum room was kind of a big deal. Gum was kind of promoted as kind of this luxury wood. So this is a gum room. Now, what had happened was there was a window there and there were these cabinets that had been built in in the past, they were pine, right? And you can still see some of the pine around this window because this is windows is not original. So if something else was there before us, but this is pine wood stained to look like gum. And what we did was we put this you know gum panel back, we built these panels, we reused this, built these gum doors, okay? So these gum doors are veneered, our stave core door, got gum on the inside, paint grade on the outside, which you can see two and a quarter inches thick, right? And our panel details like this, that sloped panel detail so that this all sheds water, very effective, efficient door. But then look at this, what a great space. Here we are over the porta cache, looking out onto the golf course, looking out onto her backyard, a great sitting area here. And my word, I mean, magic out here. When we look back at our door, we've got this t astrical that drops down onto the drip stop. So a very efficient door, even though there's not much coverage here. This, this detail here is really important too, because what it is, is we've taken a copper you know, flashing, hooked it up underneath the, uh, the limestone there, so that any water that comes off the face of this building will actually drip here it otherwise would have run around the face of this thing and run down the face of this door. It seems like a simple thing, like how big a deal can that really be? It really helps a ton. One of the other things I love is remember the Luduichi roof, right? And look at the way they sweep that corner up with all those tiles being cut together, right? It's a closed valley. We've got a sweep in the corner, kind of, kind of swoops around. But this is that 150 year roof that has all these textures. There's bents, there's tiles up there that look like they're warped. They're actually bent on purpose at the factory so that it looks like an old warped wood roof, right? Magic, really, really makes a big difference. All right, let's go inside. <laughs> Seems I've locked myself out. Oh, brother. See, the thing we fixed was the master suite. It was a very old tile that just didn't work very well. This was actually a dressing area. Then you walk back in here to where the tub is. And then if you remember, there's a funky, bad stained glass window over top of this beautiful piece of ironwork that's in the gable end of this wall. So that steel work, which is incredible, right? We now became the centerpiece of their shower. And then of course, we just made this a much better space. There are closets on the other side, which is where that the previous owner had the closet. But now this whole master suite is really awesome and beautiful. Okay guys, how do we do, right? 1928, John Staub, really important house in Fort Worth. One of my top five favorite houses. Such an honor to be working on it. You know, in the backyard here, now it's opened up again. Remember there was a brick wall that kind of ran across here, really separated the servant or working areas from the main house. Now because that lifestyle is no longer here, we've kept the original gates right there, but really opened up the backside of their yard. This fence, this kind of screen here between that and the motor court, really makes a huge difference. One of my favorite jobs ever, right? Great job, great client, great architecture, right? What more could you ask? Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook. And if you're interested in learning more about being a master builder, our Patreon page, Patreon Passion for Craft, has a ton of information that I'm dropping from my library every Tuesday to help people build better, to help get people get better details. I'm Brent Hull. Thanks for watching.